So the touchpad hasn't seen a ton of innovation in the last couple of years because everyone's been focusing on touch screens. But Synapsics is out to prove with the force pad that you could definitely innovate in this space. And what they're showing us here is the ability to scroll just by pressing and holding on the bottom of the touchpad itself. And it's just by applying force, right? That's all you have to do. So let's say you wanted to go back up on the screen, so you just press there and, and press and hold. And the idea is that you don't have to use two finger scrolling to go up and down, so it can actually you know, cut down on repetitive stress injuries and just make using the desktop more comfortable. And this is just a, a demonstration. You can imagine what this would be like in the browser as well, right? Right. So the, the force pad itself also detects different force for different fingers. Can we show what that looks like too? Right. We're going to fire up this little demo, and you can see that as we press different fingers down on here, that it's registering the force. And this is just five different fingers at the same time, right? Or up to five. Right. Up. We can do five fingers. So a possible application for something like this, you know, so gaming might be one example, right? right? You can veer left, you know, by pressing hard, or veer right on different type of games, or jump, you know, by pressing really hard. Right. And the last thing is when with pinch to zoom. You can use a combination of pinch gestures with a little bit of force. So in an application like Maps, you can start zooming in and then just press down with your fingers to accelerate the motion. Right, so pinch back in and just pushing down a little bit. And then you can see how you zoom in that way. So again, it just cuts down on the number of gestures that you have to use. You just use the force of the force pad itself. This is Mark Spooner at Laptop Magazine at CES 2013 with a first look at the Synaptics Force Pad.